Hurricanes Their so destructive Pentagon officials once looked into using nuclear bombs to stop them. Now a group of scientists has come up with another wacky but less destructive plan to limit hurricanes. Here is what they want to do. Norwegian scientists have proposed using a net of underwater bubbles to slow hurricanes or prevent them from forming altogether. Their company, Ocean Therm, has proposed stretching a bubble net between two ships or moors and submerged 300 feet below the ocean surface. The bubble net is a perforated pipe that uses compressed air to pump cold water from the depths. Hurricanes form when surface water temperatures reach 80 degrees Fahrenheit or 26.5 degrees Celsius. These warm waters evaporate into warm, humid air. This water vapor is fuel for hurricanes. Convergent winds force the warm, moist air into the atmosphere, where it releases latent heat as it condenses into clouds and rain. The exchange of the heat from the surface creates a pattern of wind that spirals up around the eye of the storm, and the hurricane grows, powered by the ocean's heat and evaporating water. According to Ocean Therm, cooling water from the bubble net would starve hurricanes of their energy source, stopping them from making landfall or at least preventing them from developing into stronger storms. A bubble net could potentially be placed across a stretch of ocean, such as the Yucatan Channel between Mexico and Cuba, that forms a natural choke point for hurricanes on their way to land. Ocean Therm has already received some financial grants from the Norwegian government to run additional computer simulations while it looks for investors in the U.S. Ocean Therm's techniques have been used in Norway for decades to keep fjords free of ice, only in reverse. In Norway, the technique is used to push warmer, saltier water to the surface, where it mixes with cool, fresh water from mountains and rivers. To be sure, not everyone is convinced that this would work. Scientists interviewed by Wired said that while theoretically possible, it would be too expensive. At Tomo News, we've seen promising ideas like this turn out to be complete boondoggles before. A system designed to reduce the amount of plastic pollution in the Pacific Ocean has not been collecting plastic. The Ocean Cleanup System 001, created by the Ocean Cleanup, left San Francisco in September with an overall goal of cleaning up half of the Great Pacific Garbage Patch in five years and a 90% reduction by 2040. System 001 is a 2,000 feet long floater with a 10 foot deep skirt connected below. The floater is designed to stop plastics from flowing over the system, while the skirt traps particles from escaping underneath. According to project leaders, aside from two metric tons of discarded fishing nets, no significant amount of plastic has yet been removed. The problem appears to be the system is moving too slow, so plastic enters the system but is only concentrated for a few days, which is not long enough for it to be harvested. The organization said another problem is the system creates waves, preventing some plastic from entering the device. According to the organizers, increasing the span of System 001 should add surface that will effectively catch wind and waves, adding force and increasing the floater's speed. They plan to make the system 25% bigger by opening the floater around 197 to 230 feet. According to Forbes, the team will continue to work to find a solution and hope to launch a System 002 in early 2020. Mickey D's attempt to go green tanked spectacularly after a leaked memo revealed their new paper straws aren't recyclable. According to the BBC, the fast food giant axed plastic straws from all of its UK branches last year, which got it many pats on the back for being environmentally responsible. Customers were made to use paper straws, which ended up being insanely unpopular because they were so annoying to drink out of. But as it turns out, the much-hated straws weren't even recyclable. At least, not yet. According to an internal McD's memo obtained by The Sun, the paper versions needed to be binned and burned. Ironically, the old plastic straws were 100% recyclable. While the chain claims chucking the paper straws is temporary, it seems that was the final straw for customers who hated the damn things anyway. The BBC reports that there is now a petition to bring back the old plastic straws signed by over 51,000 customers who are incapable of chugging down a drink without them. Some have taken to getting them on eBay too, with one chap even paying a small fortune for a 100-piece bundle. People are crazy. Back in 2016, we did an animation about a machine that turned waste plastic into bricks. It was a straightforward piece explaining how the stuff worked, so, you know, free positive publicity. So imagine our surprise when just last weekend the company behind the machine, ByFusion, sent an email demanding the 2016 video be taken down. 
even threatening legal action if we didn't comply. The shady email said the video had been rendered inaccurate since the company wasn't building houses for the poor no more. Huh, wonder why that is. So what does the company do now? Apparently building retaining walls, landscaping, and other non-load-bearing structures. Emphasis on non-load. According to a Juicy Stuff article, there's bad blood between Bifusion and the actual inventor of their machine, a Kiwi named Peter Lewis. Lewis says he got kicked out of Bifusion and didn't get zilch. Turns out he didn't own the 26% of the company like he thought he did. In a rebuttal to Lewis's claim on the article, Bifusion swore up and down that the inventor wasn't kicked out and was duly compensated after opting out of a position. But documents stuff got its hands on shows Lewis was actually ousted and even got issued a trespass notice from the company factory in New Zealand. Always keep them receipts, children. Lewis still gets the last laugh, though. The 69-year-old claims the Bifusion machine has a fatal flaw. He didn't say what, but we can hazard a few guesses. For more news animations and explainers, hit the subscribe and bell button to join the Tomo News family. Thanks for watching.